Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men confidently approach women so that they can find the woman of their dreams. Now, gentlemen, this particular video is about the emotions of love and hate. And in fact, how the feeling of love and the feeling of hate can really be nearly the same. Now, here's what I mean. The actions that someone takes when they hate somebody or when they love somebody is oftentimes the same. Let me give you an example. In season nine, episode 24 of The Big Bang Theory, Leonard's mother comes to visit and Penny announces to her that they got married. And she's very disappointed because she never even received an invitation. So they decide that they're going to have another ceremony, despite the fact they're married, because they decided to elope and none of their friends were there. A few of them had viewed it online, but that was it. So they decided to invite some friends. And guess what? Leonard had the gall to invite his father. Oh, my gosh. His mother gets so upset at him. And when he does arrive, they just butt friends. Very similar to Zoe. That we're still married. And here's what's interesting, guys, is that love and hate actually is not an emotion. It's a feeling, and oftentimes a very deep, powerful feeling. What that does is evokes a lot of emotions, and guess what? People oftentimes respond in the exact same way, whether they love somebody or hate somebody. Now, guys, this happens very often in divorce. Now, I don't know where you're at right now in life, but more than likely you've had at least one breakup where perhaps things got a little dicey at the end. And in fact, maybe it went on for a few months afterward. And in some cases, especially in a long-term marriage, it could last years. And here's what I mean. And let's just use this example for us men. Us men, we have this love affair. We get married 5, 10, 15, 20 years later, it ends in divorce. And guess what? If she's still pounding you, if she's still ragging on you, if she's still trying to tell all of her friends what a horrible husband you were and how she just hates you, she's still in love with you. That's right. It's the same feeling. And people will treat their people, whether they love them or they hate them, in a very similar fashion. And oftentimes, it's the flash that gives away that hate feeling in a loving way. It's really odd, guys. Us humans are very, very interesting species. And we need to know that when we do split up with somebody and they want us back, they may treat us really, really bad. And in fact, what they really need to do is treat us with self-respect, treat us with the type of expressions that would want us to come back. But in fact, the humans are very interesting animals. We will sabotage our relationships when we're in love and we'll sabotage those relationships when we're in hate. I bet you, use it, you have experienced this before. And if you haven't, that's okay. There's time, there may be a breakup that she shows you how much she loves you by demonstrating how much she hates you. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can watch my videos. There's some fantastic free content in those videos that can help you get closer to finding the woman of your dreams. I appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.